So brothers and sisters, how can we lower our gaze? Before we get into the subject, we need to address one thing. There is some sort of uh, delusion that's, that consumes some people, where they genuinely feel like they cannot lower their gaze. They simply say that they are incapable of doing it. And, and they tried time and time again, but they never succeeded. But, but what they don't know, it's actually the shaitan making them, he's messing with them and making them give up fighting their own desires and urges. He is the one convincing them that they will never be able to lower their gaze. So what's the point of trying? But in reality, they can and they should. And they will lower their gaze if they struggle against it. Brothers and sisters, if someone held a gun to your head, threatened your life and told you to keep your eyes down, will you? If your boss told you not to do a certain thing or you'll be filed, you would do it in a heartbeat. So you can, in fact. But you are wrapped up in thinking that you can't because the Sultan is controlling you. Isn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's anger and displeasure worse than your boss firing you? Or are you more scared by another human threatening you to kill you or by the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who created you and created everything around you. Whose anger is more significant? When Allah watches you looking at things and doing things you're not supposed to be doing, even if it was late at night when no one is around you, are you not ashamed? Are you not ashamed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you disobeying him? A powerful weapon that you can use to help you is dua. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala genuinely to help you and aid you to lower your gaze. When Prophet Yusuf والسلام, was put in a situation with the Pharaoh's wife, a big fitna presented itself right in front of him. That's exactly what he did. He asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help him because he knows that the fitna is so dangerous and he cannot conquer it without the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said, Brothers and sisters, fitna is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it comes in many different ways. The key to remind yourself that if you withstand this test and pass, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you with something better than this gentleman. Where you can desire anything that you want. It's a difficult task and requires a lot of iman and will power but it's greater effort for an even greater reward. As Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, لَن تدع شيئاً لله عز وجل إلا بدلك الله بما هو خير لك منه. Whoever leaves something for Allah, Allah will compensate him with something better. Jazakum Allahu Khair.